happy Monday, everyone. I hope you all had a very wonderful Thanksgiving. Oh, there it is. Popped up already. Awesome. Let's see how long it will last. All right. Hi, Shelly. How are you? All right. Hello, hello. How is everyone today? I feeling much heavier than I was last Monday when I was here. And look at my hair stick out. Can you tell that I've not had to do all the things of getting ready in a while? Hi, Pat, how are you? Okay, there, I love hats just for that reason. Hi, Tracy, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Pat, I appreciate it. How are you, Shelly? So um, I hope you get, again, I hope you all had a fantastic um, Thanksgiving. Mine was just, you know, I was in the kitchen for two days and uh, we had Thanksgiving, my husband and I, and then my brother and his wife came on Friday. So I cooked all again, uh, a little different stuff, but I cooked again. And um, so, and then they left Saturday. And I know it's been couple days since Saturday but it just feels like I've been in the kitchen the whole time and then I've got um, the big tree put up the living room is decorated the kitchen as it is it, our, ours is one big great room so it's all decorated I've started the tree in my daughter's room I have the tree in my bathroom um, <clears throat> it's just a tiny one and um, so Oh, thank you, Pat. I appreciate it. Um, so I've been working on that. I have tumblers turning on the tumblers. I tell you, Shelly, uh, this glitter that I used on the two pink ones is driving me insane. Driving me insane. And um, But those are nearly done. So I've been keeping myself pretty busy. Finally, about 3 o'clock today, I said, okay, I'm going to just sit down and relax. And uh, I don't have to go back to work until Wednesday, so I have one more day. And of course, working on my daughter's tree, I was thinking of all these things that I wanted to make to put on the tree. So it may or may not be a slow day tomorrow. So anyway, tonight may be a little bit short. I couldn't think of anything brilliant to marble. I didn't have a ton of time to get ready for uh, tonight. So we're going to do some paper and then I have a surprise project at the end. They are beautiful. They're going to be worth it. It's just I'm very, very particular and I can't get the, the handles or sending me for a loop. Hi, Holly. How are you? Happy Thanksgiving. And um, I, now it's I'm going to be able to say Merry Christmas. Oh, that's even more fun. So um that's what we're doing tonight some paper and then one surprise uh when i was looking around today i'm going i don't know what to do i don't know what to do and then i my eye fell on something so uh, i'll show you when we get there i have an idea to do um for the paper so stay tuned for that oh the bling ornament is gorgeous I don't know why I didn't think about that before. It is gorgeous. I thought there'd be a big enough gaps in it that I'd need to glitter the inside, but I didn't. It's just all bling and it's beautiful. And then I was kind of concerned about the weight and it's, it's not that heavy. I used to make, back in the day, I used to make, um, I'd take styrofoam balls and then pins and sequins and cover the, the styrofoam balls in sequins and beads and a bead, a pin, a bead, and a sequin. And I actually just saw one of them. <clears throat> it's white with blue beads and then a silver pin. And those things were pretty heavy. So I was concerned that these ornaments might be heavy like that. I don't like a heavy ornament. <coughs> Pardon me. And um, so I was worried about that, but it's not that heavy. It's not nearly as heavy as the sequined one, 
but oh it's so pretty you know I want to do them in all the colors all the colors and it didn't take very long either that was what I loved. I sat down and watched a couple movies and it was done so okay so enough yak yak yakking um, I'm going to point you down and we'll get started you know I have been so busy I have not even uh, sealed the bowl from last week <clears throat> it did let me get it <clears throat> sorry I don't know why my throat gets all froggy right before I have to go live but this is the way it looks dry and I see I only have half of the um, tank in here but it looks really nice so once i seal it and then i will put a coat of epoxy over this and it's going to be beautiful and some did get inside but this will all wash out that's in here but i thought it was quite pretty let's see I also uh, fixed my um, my paint pouring of painting. If you didn't see that, that turned out well. When I compare it to the lady that I follow, <coughs> it's very uh, very elementary looking. But I, it was also very challenging, and I, I fixed it, so now everything's circular, as it's supposed to be. And hi, Ramona, and it is ready to be um, sealed. I seal, this one I'm going to seal with a little bit of, or, well, not a little bit, but I'm going to cover the piece in epoxy to make it really, really shine. And that helps bring out the colors. And this is nice fresh water. I made this yesterday. It's so cold here. I made it in the kitchen. I usually don't do that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so now again, I have not put any thought into the colors of the paper. So I'm gonna do two sheets in one colorway and two sheets in another colorway because I have four sheets to do. And we'll see how <coughs> my idea works. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's see, I'm thinking here, I'm thinking. in there. Nothing there. Okay. okay, I've got three colors here and I'm gonna go for, I can, why can I never get this thing in the right location? Oops. There we go. I accidentally turned it down. So, um, I was flipping through, uh, I don't know if it was Instagram, or not Instagram, if it was YouTube or if it was Pinterest. Oh, guys. My last piece of paper towel. So, you know I'm going to have to go get more. Oh, and I have a spider crawling in here. Oh, I didn't plug my phone in. You'd think I wasn't ready at all. Come on. Sorry. I know it's wiggly all over. All right. I'm going to have to go to the other side. Well, 
was plugged in, but it didn't sound, it didn't make the uh, charging sound. Why is it? I'm tripping over every single thing on the floor. This is the same floor that I trip over or I walk on all the time. Well, we'll see if that works. So anyway, I have a spider in here. He's just floating across the top. Doing a little surfing. So now we'll get started. I just couldn't decide what to make. I feel like I've made everything. And I haven't had a lot of sales, so I just don't want to have a huge inventory. Hi, Diana. I didn't see you sneak in. Now, since we're doing paper, I can definitely do metallic. So did anybody else watch the um, Thanksgiving Day Parade? We usually don't watch it, but we did this year. Come on. So that was kind of fun for us. We always, uh, you know, I remember watching it when I was younger, and I feel like it's a lot more all about movies and stuff like that this year. I like to see the bands and... Stuff like that. I did love the Rockettes. I like the balloons. I, I actually, I quite enjoyed it. But I just felt like they were always trying to sell you something. There was an advertisement at every corner. And then there was a commercial. And so the gold says, I don't want to come out very well today. It was glorious not to be going into the office today. I am so thankful for days off. I've gotten quite a bit of crochet done on the afghan that I'm doing. This is one that I started while I had my broken leg and I ripped out and I started over. So this it's almost done this for the second time around. All right, there we go. Yeah, I was cooking through a lot of it, but that day it was just my husband and I, so uh, there wasn't that much. It didn't seem like a, a whole lot. It seemed like a lot more on Friday for me. I started my rolls early on Thursday. Now, I don't want to use a deep purple with this, but can someone else recommend another color to go in here? It, I feel like it needs one more color. Let's see, what about, what about a light teal in here? When I put the rolls on, we just had a turkey breast, so it didn't have to cook quite as long, but I got the rolls, I, I do, you know, stuffing and we do canned um, cranberry sauce and olives. So it's really, a, it's fairly simple. Now this is a brand new pink sweatshirt. So let's see if we can get through this live without getting paint on it. So let's see how this turns out. I felt like sewing a little bit today, but once I got up there, I thought, you know, I'll get 
tied up in this and then I won't get ready in time for my marbling. So I decided I had better not. So I may sew tomorrow. I also want to make a different ornament, bling another one. So let me grab the first sheet of paper. My towel. Just, I was, I've been on vacation since about one, 115 on Wednesday. We got off early on Wednesday. Yeah, no, I can't do two pieces. And it's been wonderful. I don't work a full week of work until the week before Christmas. And then after that, you know, we'll, I'll work that full week before Christmas and then we'll have the Christmas day off and then I start back to my regular routine. And I have loved it. I have a um, use it or lose it situation for my vacation. Now, it looks like it's running a little bit. That could just be excess. Look how well that gold took. That is fantastic. So let me rinse it. Now remember when I when I rinse paper, I just put a little bit in my, my measuring cup and drizzle it over. So that turned out very pretty. I need to do one more piece this same colorway. I think I'll rinse it one more time. This should turn out pretty. If it looks like it does in my head, this is going to be really cool. go put this up to drip And that's one other thing I had to do was I had to get the guest bathroom looking like a guest bathroom instead of a, a rinse and prep area for my marbling. I have to get in that tub with a, what are those magic erasers? Yeah, that's what it is. I had to get in there with that and scour it all back to white, get the layers of paint off, because I just let it drip in there, because I know I can get it off, but it's always such a big job. And then, you know, I do the whole cleaning, top to bottom, 
put out the Christmas towels, those kind of things. Change out the artwork. So, my husband and I were looking at, we have, um, we're big Thomas Kincaid fans. And we have two of his, they're not paintings, but they're, he, they've touched it. I don't know what they're called. They're not just a print. They're something else. So we have two of those, and we were thinking we should get a print of a Christmas scene for above our fireplace. And, oh, hold, please. I need to go get more paper towels. So we were deciding, um, I said, well, why don't we just do a puzzle and frame it? We have several of those already. I have like a Christmas scene, just a regular Christmas scene that I did years ago. And then we have one that has um, cookies like exploding everywhere that we use when it's not Christmas. And um, I'm out of breath. And so we picked out a couple of those. I haven't ordered them yet, but we thought we would do that. That would be a lot less expensive. So here's piece number two. And we will do a craft night when I do. Well, it won't be night. It won't take very long to do what I'm going to do. But I'll show you what I plan for these sheets of paper. I was thinking, you know, when I, as I was rearranging the living room so we could bring in the tree, I was thinking that I love red and white. Those are, that's my favorite color theme for Christmas. Sometimes I'll do red and gold. When my daughter was at the University of Idaho, their colors are black and gold. So I did a black and gold tree, and that turned out gorgeous. And, and then I, today I was thinking I'd like to do an angel tree. And I have one more tree. I'm not sure where I'd put it. But I do have one more tree. I made an angel. Remind me to show you at the end of this. The angel. Hi, Cam. I made um, a few years ago. It turned out just amazing. I keep saying I'm going to do some more, but then, of course, like everything, I'm off on some other wild craft idea, and I haven't done it yet. But it was a lot, ooh, lots of fun, too. Uh, apparently, what was stopping it decided to work its way through. All right, come on, a little bit more. Did you get snow, Cam? We've had just, oh, there it goes again. We've had beautiful, clear skies. It's been cold, but obviously no snow. Just about, Maybe two and a half hours from here, they have about 18 inches. It just misses us. It goes, um, follows the Snake River east. Hi, Tammy. And um, misses us because we have the Snake River close to us, not too far away. And, and then the Boise River is just north of us. So they, the storms like to follow the river and not, we kind of get missed. So we've had nice sunshiny weather. It's cold though. That's one of the reasons I haven't sealed that bowl at all yet. Is it's so cold in the garage. It wouldn't be appropriate to spray it. 
Okay, here we go for sheet number two. So who has their Christmas shopping done? Anyone? My oldest daughter, her birthday is uh, a week from tomorrow. So, um, <laughs> ready for spring. I'm ready for the snowflakes to fall. I am a, one of those people who loves snow. I love all the, all the um, seasons, but fall and winter, once it gets time for spring, I will be ready for it. But in the interim, <laughs> in the interim, I love all the things. But my daughter's birthday is next Tuesday, so I, I do have her gift orders ordered and sent. It's supposed to arrive Wednesday. She's going on a trip on Tuesday, or I mean, excuse me, Thursday, so I didn't want it to arrive while she's gone, so I made sure it came a little bit late. All right. <laughs> I like being out in it. I was a former skier. I haven't skied in 30 some years, but I love it. I love snowmobiling. I love skiing. I've never tried snowshoeing, but I'd like to. Oh, I forgot my papers were right behind me. I don't know how that snowshoeing would feel on my knee right now. I do not like shoveling the driveway, but I've done it numerous times. We have a snowblower now, and of course we've not had heavy snow since we bought the snowblower. Of course, you know how that goes. But I like all the uh, all the seasons. Yeah, I know I have some of yours still here. It's my hope to have them out this week, Shelly. I'll have them posted and out to you this week. All right. So there's the second piece. Doesn't feel like there's as much excess on this one as there was the other. We used to, I remember when I was young, we would get snow, it would start on Halloween and it would be cold then as well. And then it would be, you know, in March, we, we started seeing a lot more sunny days. So it's normal for me to have a nice long winter. We don't get it so much here where I am. I guess because I'm in the high desert. My husband loves to point that out to me. We're in a desert. I don't think that's reason enough to not have snow, however. Because I know we can get it. The year we had snow, but I didn't mind it. Okay, here's this sheet rinsed. The gold again once took beautifully. Just beautifully. It's one thing I can say about this paper. It It's taking the... Um, the, the gold, the metallic, really, really well. darn it, I just tore off a tiny little corner. I can work with it, but darn it, I hate it when I do that. The paper is so fragile when it's wet.
trying to get off with my schedule a little bit. You know, I'm not as deliberate about, okay, I have to do this now or I won't get it done. So I thought, okay, well, I can relax. But it's so fun to sit there and crochet. I must admit, I love that. purchased Roku for me last year for my TV in the studio and so I was up there today and I actually my well we got it installed my husband got it up and working um, gosh I think earlier this week or last week and uh, so I actually was able to turn it on I was concerned that I wouldn't go to the right place and I did not she reminded me of what I had to do but I was up there today working and had a movie going, so that was nice. Okay, so now what color? <laughs> Let's see, I'm saying blue. Oh, it went low? Well, it's still turned all the way up. Can you hear me? I don't know what the problem is. Can you hear? I even emptied. Oh, I don't know what the problem is. You know, my phone, I think, um, let me go get my headphones. Hold on. Okay, is this any better? Can you hear me now? I'm gonna bring this up and make sure it connected. Oh, it's much better, okay. I, I don't know what's wrong with that. It's really an old phone, and I think Apple's getting a little perturbed with me. Okay, so back to this. Now I've, I'm trying to select colors here for the next one. I may... You know, I don't want to use red because that always gives me fits. Let's use a light blue, a gray, and the silver. Let's see, do I have some in here? Yeah. I guess I need to purchase some more silver. Okay, so now let's make sure my ear earbud does not go into the water rinse bucket. Just see some gold floating on the surface. I'm going to swipe it once more with the newsprint. Oh, it's so sad. One of the ladies that I follow, 
um, that does paint pouring. She just does beautiful work. The one in that inspired me to do the earth and the moon. She uh, had her whole page hacked. She can't get into it. They're posting just nasty stuff on her page. She's mortified. And, uh, I feel so bad for her. I hate it when people do that. Okay. Where'd my white go? I've got two paint pouring items I want to get done before I go back to work. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done tomorrow or not. It may have to wait till next weekend. I know. It's like people find something productive to do. Oh, look at there. Can't drop this one. I think I remember that from last time. Have to have it real close to the surface. You know, all the time these people spend on, you know, attacking somebody else's page, they could actually be doing something that brings joy. Makes me sad. She has a online class I'd like to take, but I'm not spending any money on her website until I know everything's been resolved. Yeah, exactly. Or if you don't want to get a job, go volunteer somewhere. Seems like no matter how bad things are, there's always somebody worse than you that you can help. Just with your time or effort, you know, go read stories to children. But I know everyone doesn't think like that. Of course, it could be that those kind of people are not the ones you want around children. And are doing criminal activity like that. Oh, look at me blowing bubbles. Oh, all kinds of bubbles. Okay. All right. We're going to say that's good. Now I'm going to put a little bit of gray in here. I know it's going to be look real similar, especially on camera to the silver. Oh, I still wish I could do the uh, metallic on fabric. Wouldn't that be, just be beautiful? What is wrong with my colors? They must be feeling kind of lazy after a long weekend too. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to use the light blue.
You know, I think this is what I decided last time. I should just use a dropper. Let me go grab one. Well, I'm almost done here. We got to push that silver together. You open it up once more. I have a cord to, that I use for the blow dryer when I do paint pouring. And I keep putting my toe right on it and it hurts. It's like, how do I manage to do that? All the space that I have to put my toes and it has to be right on that cord. All right, there we go. Yeah, this is so fun. You want to all come over and just have a craft day and we can play. You know, that would just make my day to do something like that. All right. Didn't even wander away today to get a piece of paper that was right behind me. So let's just hope that the, um, <laughs> uh, no, Ramona, it's you that live so far, not me. I have visited your fine state, though, and it was fun. I had a great time. All right. Fingers crossed that this comes out pretty. Oh, look at that. Let me get it rinsed. Let me clean my hands a little bit. I love how all the towels keep ending up on the table. Oh, that would have been so wonderful. I was there when, um, gosh, it's been like four years ago when uh, Wreath Makers Live was there. I was a vendor. It was such a long uh, trip, but it was so much fun. Ooh. I took two of my daughters with me and my daughter's boyfriend. And it was wonderful. It was at a hotel down downtown. Don't ask me. I can't remember which one. So what I'm seeing here is the silver kind of puddling up like it did not disperse fully. But I think it'll be okay for what I'm doing with this. So let me go put this in the other room to drain.
Yeah, that trip was something else. We uh, it was downtown in New Orleans. We got to. It was just amazing. It was just a fun trip. We trip. We did a a, a tour of the swamp, which terrified me. And um, then when we were getting ready to leave, there was a huge rainstorm and the uh, manholes were spewing up water and things were kind of flooded downtown. And we were talking, I, I'm a problem person when it comes to eating food because I am allergic to garlic and I don't like a lot of other things. Obviously, onions and garlic are related. And trying to find something that doesn't have both of those in it is a nightmare. And um, so we asked the, the security guard, <coughs> excuse me, at the hotel what he might recommend. Well, he goes, oh, I have just the place. And he um, places a phone call. And he says, Mom, I'm sending down some uh, friends. And so he he told us where to go, and we walked down there and went in. Oh. The um, we walked in and we talked to the person we were supposed to have talked to, and they it was a beautiful. There was a, the atmosphere was just amazing in there. It was just gorgeous. And the, I said, you know, can I just get a grilled cheese sandwich, just plain old grilled cheese sandwich and some French fries. And they said, absolutely. And the kids ordered, you know, off the menu, just regular. And everything was delicious. And um, they sent out some drinks for us. It was just so fun. We had a just a really good time in there. It, it was called Sobu. So if you're ever in New Orleans, go to Sobu. We highly recommend it. And then we we stayed out. I can't remember the little town we stayed at. It was just a little bit northwest of the downtown area of New Orleans. And so it was a little we Ubered in every day. Because I had you know, I had my truck and my trailer and trying to park those in the parking garage would have been so expensive. So we just stayed out at where we had a hotel that had a parking lot, a big parking lot. And so that worked out well. Okay, so one more of those. I'm going to go rob it, grab a, do, a dropper, a dab of dropper. Yeah, that was a fun trip. We did lots of laughing. And the kids, they were supposed to be there to help me, but they were more intent on looking around. And that's okay. They helped me some, and then they got to experience all of the uh, fun of New Orleans. Ugh, I can't get the top off that. I'll use this step for the silver. That was a great trip. So, yeah, your state was absolutely beautiful. I, I have an issue with reptiles of any sort and i include tur turtles and the reptiles i know technically they're not but they are in my book and while we were down there you know we took this tour and i was so afraid you know i said well it has to have a cover the boat has to have a cover because i don't want any snakes falling on me and from the trees and it, this was a like the swamp tour thing and everybody was like oh my gosh and I'm going, I'm sorry, I'm not having that happen. Just not having it. And uh, so then we're walking up. It had been raining. And we walked up to the place where we are going to get on the boat. And it was, uh, oh, do we not have very much in here? Is that the problem? Let's see if I can... Uh, coax it out. One moment. Let me get some water. I don't think I have any in here.
but it was raining and you know i'm in sandals because it's summertime <laughs> we come up to the place they have a little wooden uh, sidewalk to walk up to get in there and I'm walking up there and I see something move out of the corner of my eye and I squeal and I halfway start to run and then realize that it's slick but then I'm go thinking I don't care my children are behind me laughing and I'm just thinking some protective mother I am I'm running to get away from the creatures that are coming at me for sure and um I run into the building and we pay, there we go, for the tour. And we go, they send us out onto this little back patio thing to wait to get in the boats. You know, and the water's right there. <laughs> and this is the same patio that has the thing clear around. So where the, uh, the, I don't know if they're alligators or crocodiles, whatever, I think it's an alligator, but whatever it is, it was right there on the same for you know same platform I was only on the other side of the building so I'm sitting up on the uh picnic table and my children are saying mom get down I said I'm not getting down <laughs> that thing wants to come up here I'm not going to be down there where it can get my feet and they were just like oh my gosh and so we finally get to board the boat <laughs> and um we get our place there and then later on, you know, then we start seeing them, you know, you see the eyes and they're coming out and these animals know to listen for this boat or the other boats because they feed them marshmallows. And so they come out and when they showed me that they could jump, I just about wet my pants. I was so scared. I thought, oh, my gosh, they're going to jump right in here. I didn't know they could jump. Oh my gosh, Ramona, I just wouldn't, I'd never leave the house. I would never leave the house. I'm going to go grab another dropper here for this gray. <laughs> but it was the funniest thing. I was just petrified. It was cool. I have to admit, it was very cool to see, I mean, that the trees and, and everything was so cool that the, the, you know, reptiles were fine. If we didn't see any snakes, praise the Lord. And, um, but they're just that guy gets down there and is going to kiss that thing. And I was just, oh, my God. I Oh, it's just more than I could handle. But it was fun. I am so glad we did it. How e much easier that comes out of the dropper. But, uh, yeah. That was something else, I tell you. Something I never in my life thought I would do. I should have grabbed two when I was in there, shouldn't I? One for the blue. Yes, I'm sure I would. I'd just never leave, Ramona. I would just never leave. I'd have to have someone go out, make sure the pass was clear for me to go from A to B, and that's all. You know, I'm not used to that at all. We don't have that kind of thing up here. I don't even like frogs. One time when I was little, I was fishing with my dad, and we were walking along the riverbank, and there was a snake skin. Not even a snake, mind you, a snake skin. And I started screaming. He didn't know what was the matter with me. He finally slapped me in the face and said, what is the matter? Because he didn't know what to, you know, what my problem was. I'm going to snake, a snake. He said, he goes, it's a snake skin. There's no snake there. <laughs> I'm just like, well, it looked like a snake to me. I was so petrified. I've done that before too, being running down a path at the lake and a snake is on the path and I just lose my mind. I don't do well with reptiles. Once, like I said, I consider uh, turtles reptiles. They have a snake-like head. One time I was, when we were in California, I'm in the bathroom getting ready to go somewhere. And minding my own business, and my husband comes in, and there's this turtle in his hands. 
and it, you know, moves its head around and, oh, that just freaks me out completely, completely freaks me out. And uh, I go screaming into the our closet, our walk-in closet, and I shut the door. And the girls are out in the hall just laughing. They think it's the funniest thing ever. And uh, I'm just like, oh, my gosh, what are you doing? Get that thing out of here. And it was our neighbor's turtle. It had gotten out of their yard, and we found it in our yard. <laughs> he returned it. Still a story they love to tell. You know, I'm just like, that thing moved its head. If they wouldn't move, it would be fine. So ever since then, I call them attack turtles. And um, I watched a, a little video on Instagram the other day, and it has a turtle, like, running down a ramp to a dock at a lake. And I'm, it's just, and there's a little mute, you know, you can hear it going down the, down the thing, and I'm like, I, I think it was more sliding than it was running, but it's like, I knew they could attack, I knew they could run, and I sent it to my daughters, and they were laughing, they thought that was pretty funny. Mom has been vindicated, they can attack. There was a place when I lived in the desert that, uh, in the park, there were tons of turtles, just tons of them. We used to go there when I, I'd take my 4-H kids there, for um, a photo shoot for the photography group. And I, we'd have to work around the turtles. I'm just like, yeah, you guys go right on over there. I'll watch you from here. <laughs> Carry on. And I carefully picked my way around watching those things so they didn't come after me. I survived without any turtle attacks, though other than the one that was brought into my bathroom. Yeah. I always have a good time when I go with my daughters. We were talking, my oldest and I were talking, or my youngest, she gets in a car and she's asleep in like five minutes. Doesn't matter where you're going practically or how long you're going to be driving. She gets in the car, she's out. And uh, she was, we were on our way home. We were coming through the Dallas area. You know, it's like two o'clock in the morning. I don't know. It's really, really late at night. There's hardly any traffic out at all. And she's sound asleep. And all of a sudden, these two cars, you know, one was like a Challenger. And I think the other one was like a Corvette. And they come speeding by us, and they're kind of, you can tell they're racing. They're not being overly reckless or anything. It's not like they're winding any in and out of traffic. And like I said, there was hardly any traffic around. She wakes up. She goes, what are they doing? You call the bullies right now. And she just lost her mind about those cars, and we're all just sitting there laughing and looking at her going, what are you, what's your problem? You were sound asleep. They're not hurting anyone. I mean, they could have hurt themselves, obviously. But oh, we still laugh about that. And uh, every time somebody is, like, pretending to race or something like that, or you see them in a meme, we, uh oh don't let Ashley know. She'll, have, she'll want them arrested immediately. It was the funniest thing. We still don't know. I guess it just woke her up and startled her. She was just going on and on. We're going to be out of this area in like 20 minutes. So, All right. There's the second one. And this one, the silver looks much better. Using the dropper worked a lot better. I wish you could see the metallic in it. I know it doesn't show up very well. Okay, so I only managed to tear one piece, so that's good. And I still believe I can fix that, so it won't even be noticeable. Okay, so now we have, oh, I guess I can leave. No, I'll be able to bring it. 
Oh no. Make up my mind. I'll make up my mind yet. Let me put this back in here. And I can drain off. All right. I'm going to move the rinse bucket over. All right, let's get this cleaned up. And I already know kind of the palette I want to use for this next piece. And my nose is starting to itch. I think I said that last time, right off after I got off the line. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I don't want to sneeze. I had a big sneezing fit, and it can last like 10, 15 minutes for me, just one after the other. It's exhausting. I took my allergy medicine this morning. It's really bad when I go up to uh, storage and I, or I'm messing in the garage trying to find things I need. You know, it's always dusty in the garage. We live in a farm area, so there's dust everywhere. And... Uh, Stir it up, and boy, my nose just takes off. Okay, let's see how we look. That's pretty good. Bubbles mm, don't want to pop, but that'll be okay. Let's see. Thought I knew what I wanted to use, but I'm concerned. Okay, we'll use these two. If I don't like it, I can wipe it off. Okay, I'm going to do white first, and I'll show you what I'm going to marble. So, as I said, I was looking around, trying to decide what to mark. Couldn't really. Yeah, I did it yesterday. What was yesterday? Sunday? No, I did it Saturday after my brother left. And, you know, because if I was going to do cloth, it was going to take time to dry. So I needed a, I need to plan ahead. And I just couldn't decide what to do. So. I, I was looking around in the room thinking I didn't have time to um, epoxy and glitter tumble or uh, ornaments. And I had taken the, the glass dome off of the light that's up above me in the ceiling. And it was, it's, it was just lying under the table. And cause I've never put it back cause this table's in the way. And so I thought, Oh, we're going to marble that. If I don't like it, I can wash it off. And I'm going to get a little more water here for this one. So that's what we're going to do. I have intend, I have some blue curtains somewhere to put in this room. I haven't put them up yet. We want to put blinds in first. And um, so we're going to do blues. And if I don't like the way it looks once we put it up, like I said, I can wash it off. I won't seal it until I get it up and see how I like, see how I like it. And then it got me thinking, you know, those pretty little fluted pieces uh, over a, like on your dining room table and stuff. Wouldn't that be fun? Marbled. Especially since you can still see the uh, color through them. Maybe it's just me being crazy. But... This still does not want to. Yeah, thin it down a little bit more. It's, it was kind of funny. It feels like I've run my dishwasher like 15 times. 
since last week, which is unusual for us. You know, it's just the two of us, so we don't run it maybe once a week. And I just heard it. It's I started it again before we got started today here because it's full again. I don't think I ran it yesterday. I haven't run it since Saturday. All right. So now let's see if this In the big college rivalries of the weekend, my team lost by a field goal in like the last seconds of the game. I was heartbroken. Although I didn't expect my team would win because they've been playing very, very poorly. And uh, so that the fact that they stayed with them was something. All right, let's see how this is going to look. Here we go. Let me go get it. So this is it. Just very, very basic. So we're going to make it not very basic. And this one, I have room to hold on this lip here. So. So we'll see how it looks once the excess has run off. I might just drizzle it very carefully with some water because there's a lot of that dark blue is um, running and it could just be excess, but I want to make sure it's not on there, you know, and staying. Pull this bucket out. Right, I'll put it over in the drip area. All right, and there we have it. Let me pull you down and show you how it looks sitting over in the uh, drip area. Dry my hands off. Okay, let's go for a ride. Sorry, I know that shakes everything. Hello. Thank you, guys. Okay, let me get, get over here. Try to get out of the light. Again, this you've been down in this corner before, so let me turn you around. Oh. That didn't matter. It's this that I want to do. Hold it. Go back. This is what I want to do. It's 
So we'll have to see once it's up. Now, the color may not be a good option. You know, maybe I should do it in something else. But I thought that was a fun. Let's, if it gives the whole room a blue tint, that might be weird. But I thought it was worth a test. And my hair is still sticking out. I'm sorry, I look so frightful. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me pull you up here. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Ramona. Thank you, Pat. Okay, so that's it for tonight. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. I hope you had a very blessed Thanksgiving. And um, I will see you later on this week for sure, either pouring or um, creating with the paper that we just made. I've got to do one or the other, and then i got to get my pouring done, so that will be somewhere in this week as well. So take care, everyone. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you greatly, every one of you. And um, remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. It doesn't cost you anything, and it might just make their day. So take care. Bye, everyone. <laughs>